Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the series and parallel connections. So we have the series connection and the parallel connection. So what is the use of the series and parallel? By using the series and parallel, we will reduce the total network. Okay, we will reduce the total complex network into one simple network by using this series and parallel connections. Okay, let's see what is series connection? What are the formulas used to find out the when resistors are connected in series? What and when the resistors are connected in parallel, how to find the total equivalent resistance. Okay, that we will see. Okay, now let's see what is series circuit. A series circuit is one which two or more resistors are connected one after other. Such connection is also called as end-to-end -end connection or cascade connection. And there is only one path for flow the current. Okay, here if the resistors are connected end to end, okay, that is one after other or end to end is called a series connection. In series connection, only one path for the current. Okay, current will not divide in the series connection. Current is same throughout the circuit. If you see the series connection, this is the one of the series connection here. See here, this R1, R2, R3 are connected in series. Here, R1 second terminal is connected to R2 first terminal and R2 second terminal is connected to R3 first terminal. Like this, R1, R2, R, R1, R2, R3 are connected end to end. That's why this connection is called a series connection. So in this circuit, the current flowing through the each and every register is same. Thus throughout the circuit, the current is same because here there is no other branches are there. There is only one branch here. Okay, the current passing through this circuit is same as there is only one path to flow the current. There is no other path. Okay. Next, if you see the, uh, what is the total equivalent resistance? By using this formula, we will find out the total equivalent resistance. R total is equal to, as there are three resistors, R1, R2, R3, total equivalent resistance, we will find out by using this formula, R1 plus R2 plus R3. Okay, let's see if there are in resistors are connected in series, we will use this formula R total is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on up to Rn. Okay, this formula we will use if there are resistors are connected in series and if you want to find out the total equivalent resistance, okay, we use this formula R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now, let's see what are the characteristics are there in the series connection. If you see the characteristics of a series connection, see here. Now, the current is same everywhere in the circuit. That is the same current flows through the each and every resistor. So, this now we have discussed. The current passing through the each and every resistor is same. Suppose if we assume current passing through the R1 is I1 and the current passing through the R2 is I2, and the current passing through the resistor I3 is equal to In, uh, sorry, I3, R3 is I3, and so on up to In. So from this series connection, we can say that I1 is equal to I3 is equal to I3, and so on up to In is equal to I only. So in series, the current is same through the each and every resistor, okay? Irrespective of the resistor values, the current is same. Next, if we... So the supply voltage V is a sum of the individual voltage drops across the resistances. But the current is same, but the voltage divides here. Okay, in series correction, in series connection, current is same, but the voltage divides. Here, the, as there are three resistors, voltage is dividing into three parts, V1, V2, V3. The supply voltage is dividing into three parts, V1 plus V2 plus V3. Okay, so we can write that V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. If there are N resistors, V1 plus V3, V1 plus V2 plus V3 and so on up to Vn. Okay, like this, we will write the series connection total equivalent resistance formula and how the currents are in the series connection, how the voltages will be in the uh, series connection. This is about the series connection characteristics. When three resistors are connect connected in series, R total is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Let's see if the if the circuit is connected in parallel and what are the formulas we have and what are the characteristics we have. 
let's see about the parallel connection okay parallel circuits what is parallel circuit the parallel circuit in which the resistors are connected one over other is called as parallel connected circuit okay this is the parallel connected circuit in this r1 r2 r3 are connected one of one over other okay in parallel connection see here if the current current is coming from this branch and after this node this is called as node okay two or more branches are meeting at one point is called as node from this node the current is dividing here into three parts i1 i2 i3 currents are dividing okay yeah, voltage. If you see the voltage, voltage is voltage is same across each and every resistor. R1, R2, R3 are the three resistors connected in parallel. If the resistors are connected in parallel, we will use this formula. 1 by R total is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. This is the total equivalent resistance formula if, if the resistors are connected in parallel. If there are n resistors, 1 by R 1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 and so on up to 1 by R1 or 1 by Rn. Okay, this formula we will use if there are n resistors. Okay, this is about the uh, parallel circuit formula we will use to calculate the total equivalent resistance. Now, if you see the characteristics of the parallel circuit, in parallel circuit, the voltage is same. See here, the voltage is same across each and every resistor. Okay, yeah, there for this all the resistors, there is only the common point. For this, there is a common point here, and here it said this is the common point. Okay, that's why the voltage across each and every resistor is same. The voltage is the same for each resistor in a parallel circuit because there are only two electrical common points, and the voltage between common points is always the same. See here, this is the common point, and this is the common point. So from this, we can say that the voltage is same in the parallel circuit. Now, if you see the current, electrical current can take multiple paths through a parallel circuit. The total current is equal to the sum of the each branch's individual current. That is, I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 and so on up to I n. If we observe the circuit here, voltage is same, but the current is dividing into three parts here. As there are three resistors, three branches, Okay, up to here the current is same. After this node, the current is dividing into three parts I1, I2, I3. So, from this, we can say that in parallel connection, current divides, but the voltage is same. Okay, by seeing the circuit, we cannot say whether it is connected in series or parallel. We have to see whether the current is dividing or not. If the current divides, it is called as a parallel circuit. If the current is same, it is called as series circuit. Like this, you have to remember. Okay, once again, I am repeating. If the current is same, series circuit. If the current divides, parallel circuit. If, the, if, if, if there is any circuit, we will check whether the current is dividing or not. If the current divides, parallel circuit. If the current is same, series circuit. Okay, this is about the series and parallel connection. In the next class, we will discuss the problems based on the series.